Two young women from Dearborn grew up hearing stories about their city, but it never seemed to be told by women like them. That's what they thought. So together they have launched a podcast called Dearborn Girl, hoping to take over the mic and the narrative about their culture within the Arab community. We talked about mental health like in passing. I would love to bring somebody on that's a professional and maybe talk about ways we could just give girls more like access to services. It's believed to be the first of its kind. And Rima Fadlala and Yasmin Kado say needed now more than ever. How would I define a Dearborn girl? The Dearborn girls are... The first thought that comes to mind is... Religious. Religious. Oh, a girl that knows religion. Have a hijab. But you know, that's just me being biased. In reality, it's a bunch of different girls. Well, there's so many beautiful stories in our city with um, women, and nobody was telling our stories. Um, besides the outside media and everybody that wasn't us. So we wanted to reclaim that narrative. They're unique. There's always special things about a Dearborn girl that you don't find in any other girl. I just think that they're special. Each one's different. I'm a Dearborn girl, I guess. I'm, a, I'm proud to be a Dearborner. I love being a Dearborn girl. We felt as though the only way to really solve that is to create a platform where women in our community can represent themselves because, I mean, she and I are very different. The women that we've talked to are all very different. We've learned a whole lot, even from the seemingly homogenous you know, people in our community, there's a whole lot of diversity. Rima and Yasmin launching the podcast Dearborn Girl, a positive space, they say, for Arab and or Muslim women to share their stories and inspire courageous conversation. Both Rima and Yasmin were born and raised in Dearborn and wanted to break stereotypes, clear up misconceptions, and have people around the world see their community the way they do, using women who have defied odds, excelled in their fields, or stand out in a positive way. We know our experience as non-hijabi women is not the same as a woman walking through America being visibly Muslim. And so one thing that we want to highlight is we're not representatives of anyone but ourselves as individuals. We're actually just creating a platform so that other people can represent themselves and tell their stories. I think even till this day, it's a mantra I always live by of if you don't apply, if you don't even try, you're already rejecting mm -hmm. yourself. Dearborn has the largest Arab Muslim population in the country. Rima and Yasmin say they aren't looking to romanticize issues that the Arab Muslim community faces, but come at the conversations with an open mind and heart. We have this rule that to come on the show, you're allowed to talk about the community and you're allowed to criticize things that are happening, but you have to have ideas and reasons why you're saying these things and things to back it up. Dearborn Girl that is recorded in the ground floor of Detroit's Foundation Hotel launched in late May. It's a passion project that will soon expand to a docu-series showing the diversity of a Dearborn woman who comes from all walks of life. And I want people to start questioning what they think the norms are. And I also want women in our community to inspire each other and see the value in each other and recognize how amazing all of us are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. These girls are just so intelligent, beautiful, kind, and I can't wait to see what they continue to bring with this podcast. So it started late, uh, late May, and um, they're now moving on to YouTube as well. And, you know, it's not just something for here. It's something that they're hoping people all over the world listen and appreciate and learn. Well, and, and you say learning, because uh, when you when you look at what where prejudice comes from and where people people's misconceptions come from, it's just not having the information that perhaps you think you right. already have. You need to learn about other people, but uh, they're doing a good job teaching that. Yeah, and they're going to do a lot of human interest stories, a lot of positive stories, and tell them through, you know, the way that they want and, and the way that they live as well. And, and I know you want, if you want to work in yeah. television one day, there's probably a spot for you, but take your time, all <laughs> right. right? And Dearborn.Girl on Instagram will give you all the information.